Good evening, everyone. I'm Shirley, and this is my first speech in Toastmaster, and this is related to the CEC manual icebreaker. And I really hope that you can understand me more uh, after this six minutes of speech. Um, we always make assumptions when we first meet people, right? When I first met Doris, I think that she's a girl with fashionable sense. And it turns out it's true because later I realized that she works in the fashion industry. But sometimes our assumption is wrong. Why? Let's use King as an, as an example. <laughs> when I first met King, I thought that he was a very serious person and he didn't like making any jokes. But it turns out it is completely wrong because most of us know that he wins the Human Speech Awards, right? So we always make assumptions on people, neither true or false. Um, there are a lot of people make assumptions on me. I call this as myth. That is something that they always think that I do, but it's not true. And I hope that uh, after the following minutes, you may understand more about me like this. The first myth about me is that when people saw me, they always think that I love Hello Kitty very much. And I remember when, during the first day on my flight platform, Full time job. Uh, when I arrived at my desk, I saw a lot of Hello Kitty products there. I saw Hello Kitty pens, Paperman, Nemo, a lot of files, and I was so puzzled because this is this was the first time of my job, the first day. I didn't bring anything uh, to my office, but why there are so many Hello Kitty products? So my manager came by and said, "Hey Shelly, those Hello Kitty products were from our ex colleague." When I first met you during the interview, I knew that you are here, Hello Kitty friends. <laughs> so I reserved the Hello Kitty products for you. So uh, over over the years, I received a lot of Hello Kitty gifts for my friends. I received Hello Kitty stationeries, Hello Kitty figures. I even received a Hello Kitty portable game console for my family. And every time I would say thank you, but why? Did you buy me Hello Kitty things? And uh, I always got the same answer. They will tell me that, hey, you look like a girl who likes Hello Kitty. Okay. But it's actually it's not true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My mom started her indoctrination by telling me that Hello Kitty is good. Girls should like Hello Kitty and guys should like Snoopy. <laughs> so, um, so for me, I don't really have a favorite in Hello Kitty. So when I was getting uh, older, my favor towards Hello Kitty decreased. First of all, I am not a fan of real cat. And all you know, I think Hello Kitty is just a cat without a mouth. <laughs> so later when I asked my mom why you why were you always pursuing me that Hello Kitty is cute? And my mom said that um, because I like your bone. I like red, and how Kitty is a cat with a red ribbon. And my mom said, I like how Kitty, so I want you to like it as well. Well, so it turns out that it's my mom who is a how Kitty fan, not me, okay? <laughs> so next time when you see how Kitty, don't remember me. <laughs> and the second thing of, of me is that people always think that I'm a big sister in the family which is totally not true because I'm the only child in my family. But you can say it is partly true because uh, in, my mom, in my mother's side of her family, I'm the eldest cousin. I actually got two young cousins. Okay, let me show, show you all that picture. I got two young cousins. They are still teenagers and I am older than them for more than 10 years. Well, so it's probably true that I'm the big sister in the family. Before they were born, I was actually a very dependent child because I'm the young, I was the youngest one in my family, so they always would do what I want. But then after they were born, I realized that I am the big sister of them. So I learned how to share and how to take care of them and how to be responsible for them. I remember that when, uh, when they were three to four years old, I brought them to the park and there are a lot of children wanting to bully them. 
and then I was stood up and then just act like a superwoman and told those children, get away, they are my sister, so you need to get away from them. So I really treasure that they were, they are in my life. The last myth is that when people saw me, they always think that I'm a shopper boy. <laughs> um, I want to show you a picture that you may think that I'm a shopaholic as well. This is souvenirs that I bought from London during my five day trip in London uh, in my exchange period. I was being an exchange student in the Netherlands and I showed my professor what I got in London. And my professor, she is a Dutch and she told me, Shelley, Netherlands is a developed country. You don't need to buy shampoo from London. We got shampoo in the Netherlands as well. So people think that I'm crazy to be honest. Well, I admit that when I was young, I was kind of like a shopaholic. But then when you're getting older, you know the importance of money and then you start thinking you, you know how to save and then you know how to learn um, twice before you're spending. So my conclusion is that People say that you can never judge a book by its cover. I want to reveal a little bit that you can never judge a person by his, by his or her experience. Uh, to me, it is a very good attitude that if you want to judge a book, please read through some pages of the book first. So if you want to judge a person, please be, uh, to be more interactive with that person first. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shelly. After Shelley's speech, I, I know not only lovely and describe his coming up, but also mature and smart. Please join me and give applause to Shelley.